pretty cold out right now. 63 degrees. Oh my god. YouTube! Gang! Boys! Fellas! Ladies! Gent! Whatever! Oh my god, it feels so good outside. So we got some beautiful what? Oh my god, I can't speak English. We got some beautiful riding weather today. The ventilation outside. Give me a second. When I got outside this morning to start my bike, we had a total of 59 degrees outside, boys. Let's go! It feels so good. Oh my lord, man. So yeah, how y'all doing? Welcome back to the YouTube, baby. I'm gonna let y'all know in the beginning of the video. Thank you for watching the channel. Make sure if you guys are in here, hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you know when I post all these YouTube videos and you can come watch me be an idiot with me and you watch me be an idiot at the same time. I don't even know, it just feels so good outside right now. Holy, I love it here. This is what I live for. So I hope this ND32 filter is not too bright right now because I'm thinking it was gonna be like super sunny outside but it's not that sunny out right now so hopefully it's not too dark. But I'll edit it in post. We'll get it all figured out because holy God, it feels so good outside right now. I don't know how to tell y'all this. I wish y'all could feel me through the screen. Just put your arm forward and like just feel the air. Oh my God. God, it feels so good. Ah! I love cold weather. But yeah, so like I said, make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn on the notifications, and hit that bell. Also, make sure to follow me on TikTok. I'm going to pop it up on the screen right now. I'm trying to get the TikTok views up. I'm trying to be a real TikToker, so make sure you go follow me on the TikTok. Also, Instagram. Instagram has been popping for me. Make sure y'all go drop a like on the Instagram page as well and show some love. Please. Jesus. Also, I got a link down below with all of my social media subscriptions. Make sure you go like, subscribe on everything um i got my snapchat in there for you guys that like to see my daily life and things i post and just random stuff i got my public snapchat in there so feel free to add me uh, my messages are open on instagram and everything so if you guys have any questions about anything holler at me so i've been getting a question lately what is the best beginner bike and i want to answer this for you guys because i have an opinion on this and i get a million dms so i'm going to put it in a video and hopefully people click this video to get their question answered but i'm probably still gonna get dms but whatever we're gonna talk about it anyways so best beginner bike if you guys have zero experience on a bike like you've only rode bicycles and never been on any type of motorcycle ever in your life dirt bike nothing you literally only have experience on a bicycle and you want to get into bikes do not go above a three or four hundred cc motorcycle with your first bike don't even don't listen to your friends that have bigger bikes. Don't look at the YouTubers that got bigger bikes. Don't do any of that stuff. Go get you a Ninja 400, not a ZX4, a Ninja 400, an R3. It's an amazing beginner bike. Don't look at anything like, you know, your Ninja 650s. Don't look at your Honda 650s, um, ZX6Rs. Don't look at anything like that. Like even, even though Kawasaki 650 is a twin cylinder, don't even look at stuff like that. It's way too much torque and you don't need something like that when you have never been on the road before. I promise you guys. It'll make your life so much easier even if you spend your early days on a motorcycle on the road learning on something like an R3 or a Ninja 400 or an MT-03, anything in that class range. Just don't go above a 400 and don't get anything that's a super sport. Get something that's more in that sport touring style if most. Um, but yeah, you want to get something like that. You don't want to get on the road with something that has too much torque and that's hard to control. Plus, there's a reason those bikes are so much lighter. Everyone thinks it's just because, oh, the motor's so much smaller. That's one, but they're also geared way easier to learn on because of the torque and the way they make the power through the power band. They're geared way easier to learn on and they have way more room for error. So it's not like these bigger, heavier bikes that you're in, you know, high RPM ranges to get power and things like that. Those bikes are comfortable with through traffic because they have a lot low end a lot more low end power and torque so if you need to pass someone in traffic you don't need to downshift and you know run your rpms high it's very easy to pass people with traffic on those bikes and a lot lower of a gear or a lot lo lower of an rpm excuse me so bikes like that are made for beginners they're made to learn on they're not you're not supposed to hop on a super sport and learn how to ride a motorcycle now yes out of 100 people there is maybe 10 people that have learned on 600 super sports you see the guys that say they started on 1000s yes those guys are out there those guys have humongous balls and 
they're savages don't do that like even if money is an issue don't do that it's like you're putting yourself at risk to a whole nother level i started on a crf 250l supermoto that i built up it was my first street bike i rode dirt bikes my whole life growing up so i had some type of experience so for the knowledge i had i felt like i was quali qualified enough to at least go up to like a 650 or something in that class range um and i had rode my buddy's sport bikes and stuff but i still took it easy wanted to learn the road wanted to make sure if i'm going to make any errors it's on something like that to where i can recover very easily that supermoto was super light and it wasn't something that was hard to ride by any means so something in that class range is going to be something that's a lot easier for you to learn on on the streets especially braking and getting behind cars and maneuvering around traffic and say i brake late because i wasn't paying attention to the car in front of me hit the brakes those bikes are a lot easier to stop they're a lot easier to get around if you have to and worst case scenario if something does happen and you end up hitting a patch of gravel on the street or something and you drop that bike you're dropping a bike that's you know three four grand compared to a bike that's 10 grand or eight grand or 15 grand whatever it may be it's just not worth it and no don't it's not a money thing so if you're like oh if i can get a 1000 for four grand does that make sense no learn on a beginner bike now if you have any type of knowledge on motorcycles at all say you've been on bikes before and you know you have dirt bike experience like me i would still highly recommend if it's your first time on the street going by street rules and riding in traffic and commuting on a bike i still highly recommend you start low um but you don't have to start as low if you already know the maneuvers of you know working a motorcycle downshifting getting through the gears you know turning leaning a motorcycle all sorts of stuff like that then you know you can go up to something like a cbr 650 um a ninja 650 things of that class range um but you do not want to go up to something a super sport i don't recommend it can you because you know how to use a motorcycle already yeah of course anybody can if you already know how to use a motorcycle, yes, you can hop on a ZX-6R like I am right now or even an R6 and be completely fine. I just don't recommend it to anybody ever. Just because these bikes are, you know, they're more money, one, again, and they're just, they're just harder to maneuver. The seating position is not as fun, you're in a more aggressive position, and they're not as forgiving. You know what I mean? You have to be in the high RPMs to have any fun on these things, and they're very easy to you know be reckless on now if you have amazing bike experience and you're like you know what i can trust myself going up to a 600 is my first bike because i want to go up to a leader bike and you know you've rode on 450 dirt bikes or whatnot whatever it may be and you have good experience on motorcycles then i mean you can honestly start on a zx6r and an r6 and these things now like most of these newer bikes even the 13s 13 zx6r and newer they all come with modes and i run in full power mode all the time obviously with no traction on because I've been riding for a while, but you can put this thing in low power mode now, and this bike does not, is nowhere near as aggressive as you would think it is. So you can run these bikes in a low power mode and be, you know what I mean? As a beginner, someone that's first time on a ZX6R, it really truly cuts, with no tune, like especially if the bike isn't tuned, it truly cuts the power on the motorcycle in half, if not more. And your throttle is very restricted, which is why I don't ride in it. But you can definitely start on one of these bikes if you, like I've said, if you have experience, especially if you're coming off something like a 450 dirt bike or something like that. But again, the street is not like a dirt bike track by any means. So when I see like all these comments and people tell me, hey, you know, I used to race dirt bikes and I want to get a sport bike, you know, yeah, you're going to know how to, you know, maneuver a motorcycle and get around the gears and do everything properly. That's not the issue. The issue is that when you're on the street, you have a bunch of idiot NPCs, cagers around you that don't know what they're doing and they're not paying attention to you and they don't care about your dirt bike experience. They're going to cut into your lane. You're going to have to brake at times you didn't think you have to brake. Um, you're going to have to do maneuvers. You're going to know how to ride in the lane. Like there's a million different things that you're going to have to know on a motorcycle that's on the street versus something that's, you know, a dirt bike. But this is obviously just an opinionated video. I'm giving you my opinion. Um, you can go out and buy a 1000 if you want to. But just know that Zay does not recommend that. I highly recommend you guys start on something that's a little easier to ride. But 
again you guys can do whatever you feel is you know good for you i know people have budget issues and they can't you know go buy a 1000 or anything like that or excuse me they have budget issues and they can't go buy you know one bike ride it for six months and then trade it in so whatever you know you guys got to figure out what works best for you this is like i said just giving you my opinion all right y'all as you can see the video got cut it's a little Oh my god buddy pay attention there brother um the time is a little bit later i just left work so this is gonna eight hours after we were already talking about that so i'm trying to remember where i was in the video and what i was even at the point of talking about so i'm just gonna jump in at some stuff i was thinking about during work that i totally forgot to mention during the other part of the video supermotos i know i talked about my supermoto but a supermoto is a great bike to get into it for beginners and i'm gonna tell y'all why they're extremely light they're very comfortable to ride and they're super super easy to handle they are like the easiest bikes to handle you guys want to get on something that is very simple to ride that's the bike and they're very inexpensive you can find street legal older dirt bikes for very very little the maintenance is super easy on them compared to something like a sport bike so those are good options if you guys are looking for something that's you know a little bit easier to ride so like i said i don't remember exactly where i was earlier in this video and where we were but i'm trying to you know stay on track and whatnot it feels so good out it's still cold She's like, it's cold. Let's get to the front, brother. People look at you when you lane slow to the front like you did something so illegal. Like, relax, buddy. All I did was cut to the front of traffic so I don't got to be behind and worry about getting rear-ended or anything like that. And so I can get away from you guys when the light turns green. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff that, you know, you can get into. Whoops. There's a lot of stuff that you can get into with motorcycles and beginner bikes and what's good and what's not and what you should do and what you shouldn't do. I mean, there's a million different things that we can get into, but... You know, that's not what I was here to talk about. I just wanted to go over some of the best beginner bikes and things like that. And, you know, what I think from my experience on a motorcycle is a good way to go. Now, you guys, there's a million videos on YouTube and a million different things you guys can look up and do research on. But like I said, this is just my piece and what I know from experience and being in bikes. And, yeah. But the rest of the ride home is just going to be chilling. I hope y'all enjoyed this uh, little bit of me talking about what bike to get and whatnot. traffic especially at this time there's so much traffic coming the other way too that i can't even really like lane splitting it around people but it's good at least the weather's nice to stay on the topic if you guys you know have any opinions drop them in the comments because on a lot of my videos like i said i get comments below and they're asking you know what i think and for my opinion and i know i have a lot of people that there might be a people that have way better opinions than i do and know much more than i do so I definitely, you know, recommend if you guys are watching this video and you want to go against one of my opinions and I said something wrong and you think better, drop it in the comments. Because people will read the comments to see if what I'm saying is right and it's YouTube, man. Drop it in the comments. Let these people know what the best bike is. I don't even know what I'm talking about. If it's right or wrong, I'm just telling you, like I said, what I think. So if you know better than me, say it. Let me know I'm wrong, man. But yeah, the weather's beautiful. And if you guys are, you know, now that this is going to be a new rider video, if you guys are debating, you know, getting a motorcycle or not, I definitely highly recommend getting into bikes, whatever it is. Two wheels is two wheels, man, and bike life is amazing, bro. You're going to meet a bunch of great people. You get great experiences. You save money on gas. I don't even know if that is true, though, because I ride my bike way more than I should, and I now it's turning into a, a money machine with gas. But... You guys, just the experience with everything, even if you don't upload content or whatnot, just the joy you get of hopping on a motorcycle and riding is like none other. You can't get it in a car, so I highly recommend it. This wind is blowing so strong across these fields this way that like I'm leaning to the right just to stay like to the right. Like I'm leaning to the right just to stay balanced because of how strong this wind is, which is crazy. Biker buddy! What up gang? That's another thing I want to talk about. We got to get some more of these. I have to bring myself to get some more of these bike beats. You know,
know, ever since my boys got in wrecks and they're not on the road anymore, I don't really find myself getting out to bike meets. I go out, film what I want to film, and, you know, have fun with my boy when we go ride, but that's about it. I don't ever, like, go to any of these bike nights or, you know, group rides or anything. But as you guys are already aware, if you've been watching me for a while, I'm not a fan of group rides. I'm, like, super against them, and I hate, like, how many close calls happen in group rides and people get reckless and, you know, group rides are just butt cheeks. It's fun to meet people and ride with them, but, you know, one person gets reckless, the other person tries to being out reckless and, you know, beating them out reckless or how? I don't even know if I speak English in these videos anymore, to be honest. But whatever, we're getting kind of close to getting home, um, and I don't really have anything left to talk about on this topic. So if you guys have any tips or, you know, anything you want to see me talk about in videos or want my opinion on, um, if you guys have any video ideas in general, drop them below, bro, because I want to film for you guys and I run out of things to talk about. So I like to scroll through motorcycle YouTube, see what other people are talking about making videos on, and I like putting my opinion out there and making a video on it as well. Um, but y'all, thank you for watching today's video. I love y'all. Never forget that. I love you guys, man. We're not even up there yet, but... On my Instagram, Facebook, and all my reels and shorts and stuff, they've reached over 400,000 people in the last 30 days. And I love y'all, man. I just want to let you guys know that. I appreciate you guys watching my content and me talk a whole bunch of bullshit about whatever I'm talking about. Because I'm just some random that rides a motorcycle and y'all seem to enjoy what I talk about. Um, you guys love the bike, so I love that too. Because I feel like I did a good job on it. And everyone's in the comments talking about that I got a super nice bike. So I love y'all! But yes, if you guys, you know, need any advice or anything, swipe up hit the dms this is my instagram right here make sure to follow me on the instagram i'm gonna have all the links down below as well also my tiktok this is the tiktok follow me on tiktok go like my videos comment on my shit make fun of me do whatever you gotta do but just make sure you go follow me on tiktok bro because i'm trying to be a tiktok and then youtube as always i'm gonna put the youtube right here for y'all as well if you watch this video because i link it other places if someone sends it to you whatever it is just make sure you follow me on youtube hit the bell and just decline my notification when it pops up but at least have my notifications on so you have an idea when it upload whatever i'm talking a whole bunch of bullshit anyways i love y'all like i said ride safe be easy keep the shiny side up and make sure you don't be reckless if your friends are reckless i'm talking bullshit you better out reckless them out them motherfucking you know what i'm saying you better be way more reckless than them dudes got them boys i love y'all though peace don't erase yourself we love y'all later gang couldn't buy a g-wagon so a nigga bought a g <laughs> And I can spend money on the Marys, but these Levi's run deep uh, Yeah, these pockets all the same money Young nigga gotta save money If I gotta get away money I know people